Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with, and he just whispers. So, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. So, we've got the rankings out today, and they still have the Dallas Cowboys in most polls um, ranked fourth with the Packers ranked fifth and the Eagles somewhere between eight and 11. So how do you guys feel about that? It's kind of funny to me because, um, you know, the polls really, they're just the polls. They change on a weekly basis by who's winning and losing. So you can't necessarily gauge what's what and who's who. Of course they have New England as number one. Um, the Saints is number two. And I dare say, I think the Saints are better than New England personally. Um, I know New England is undefeated, but when you look at the competition that New Orleans has faced versus the competition that New England has faced and that defense, um, I would actually take New Orleans first, New England second. Now, New England benefits a lot by being in their division because, let's be honest, that division stinks. Now, you've got and then, Buffalo. And then, and then yesterday, yesterday. Well, Buffalo, you know, this is the best Buffalo's been without Shady McCoy and stuff. You know, they ended up holding New England to 16 points and Tom Brady to 150 yards. So maybe they actually have some competition for once in their division or New England is overrated. Now, Green Bay right now is ranked fifth. But I look at their division and I know the Lions are better than they were. Um, we know that... Um, the Bears have a great defense, but not much offense. And the Vikings, well, they got Kirk Cousins. So they don't exactly have the stellar conference either. New Orleans is also going to benefit this year from Atlanta stinking. Yeah, brethren, your team stinks. Carolina, and maybe Tampa Bay is a little bit better. So I'd like to get your thoughts on, are the Cowboys the fourth best team in the NFL? Or are they overrated? I know all the haters will say overrated. In fact, I know some Cowboy fans are ready to say the Cowboys just stink and just need to blow that thing up. But time will tell. We'll know really. Here's where it's going to get interesting. You got Seattle and the Rams going on Thursday night. Short week for both of them. Um, I think the Rams are a little overrated. And with them having running problems, I think Jared Goff's going to be exposed. Seattle is really rebuilding. You're going to find out about that. We're going to be playing the Eagles in a couple of weeks. We're going to be playing New England. So you're going to have that turmoil on the top. We're having Green Bay, of course, this week. So we'll find out if Cowboys are overrated or the Packers are overrated. Now, now here's what I always say, and I forget about this sometimes because I say so much stuff that it's hard to keep up. But now is the time when teams really start to separate and you can really start to see who's a good team and who's not a good team. Because the first month of the season, you have some teams that play a lot of people in pre preseason and are ready to start the season. Um, you have sometimes change of coaching and philosophy, so you surprise people. For example, Baltimore came out like gangbusters. Nobody expected Lamar um, Jackson to be coming out throwing the ball or Baltimore to be throwing the ball like that. So are the Baltimore Ravens really a good offensive passing team, or did it come out and they surprise a lot of people? And we'll find out in the next few weeks. Um, you could say that was the Cowboys, that we came out slinging the ball like crazy, and maybe we aren't as good as we thought. We'll find out over the course of playing some of these better teams. So we've got this door here that we're replacing. The uh, funny thing about these doors now is nothing is built like it used to be. When I grew up, these doors were solid wood doors. Now it's basically masonite with the paint on top of it that literally you look at it real hard, it scratches. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful like if you put the uh, door stops up here at the top of it, or if you have the regular door stops, it will literally just go through that if you happen to push the door very hard. Everything is just made so cheaply now. It's just, it just drives me crazy. But I think but teams have figured out some of the components to the offense, but more guys. So we're talking about the Rams. 
I do think they oh. overcame for Gurley a year early. And so, coach, they had to lose a couple of Hurd's got the Rams at 10. Very good system. Interesting. Lots of nice parts. I like Actually, they lost to Tampa Bay 50. Can you believe Tampa Bay put a 55 on the Rams with Aaron Donald? Juice in that backfield and Goff's still a young quarterback. And you look around this league. Oh, wait, what? that win have rushing help Rams at 10. No. Oh, he just said rush uh, that that young quarterbacks have rushing help that win. Hmm. He's got San Francisco at nine. Let's see where he has the Cowboys. I think they're overrated. San Francisco at nine. Fifty-seven percent of the plays, highest in the NFL, and they don't have what you consider a star running back. They don't have a road grading offense. Helps line. the quarterback, doesn't so it? Running game. Of Kyle you saw what happened to Green Bay without a running game against the Eagles. Ball, they take it away. Monday Night Football will tell yeah, me the, the Browns' ball. defensive yeah. front is all real. And San Francisco so have the their hands full, but I'll put the Niners but, So they don't have the running back. No, no, no. They ran the ball the when they were in the green. The Hawks at eight. No, they were the no, early in the game. They were in the red zone, and they ran the ball and got there. So why not even try it? Oh, uh, uh, that's true. If it worked before, it might work the second half. But Aaron Rodgers led the team 45 yards rushing. He's put your running back there and get a couple yards. A second consecutive road start with 110 plus passer rating. That is unheard of, folks. That is unheard of. And Doug Baldwin left. And they don't have a great offensive line. And They're rebuilding, so like I said. You have a combination of the best defensive coach after Belichick in the league, Pete Carroll. Russell Wilson playing in a completely elevated league. Um, by the way, Russell's one of three quarterbacks without a pick this season. And you consider how he moves around and the, and the clip he plays on, really impressive. Seattle hosting the Rams. I have him at eight. Number I think seven. they beat the Rams. Uh, I don't. I don't move the Buffalo. Buffalo seven. seven. I think right. they're real. I think they're. Listen, they're second in total defense. Tom Brady had one of his worst games as a pro. Uh, the, the Patriots couldn't throw on them. The Patriots uh-huh. couldn't run on them. Thank God New England got a special teams touchdown. He held the Patriots to 224 yards. And that was amazing. It's, it's, Tom was 18 of 39. Now Tom's a precision thrower. Now I do think there's some limitations offensively with Josh Allen. He can be wild, he can be a little inconsistent, he can be a little erratic. But they did run the football against New England. So the upgrade So much for that being an easy out for our Cowboys. Number six, Green Bay Packers. Okay, it was Packers a six. Loss to Philadelphia. They could not stop the Eagles. And they didn't get a sack, and they led the NFL in sacks before the game. But what I but look see at the teams they faced. is Aaron Rodgers on script in the first half looks comfortable. I think they have an elite receiver in Devontae Adams, an elite running back in Aaron Jones, and I like Aaron. He didn't show and it. I like their offensive line. Um, Philadelphia was more desperate, and Philadelphia is really, really good. Don't take too much from the loss. I do think the concern for me with Green Bay is the second half offense. The production has been down. They're very good on script with a rookie head coach. Okay. They've not been great off script, and that may be a problem for the entire year. But I still put him at six. Number five, Dallas Cowboys. Okay. And this five. is where it gets really tight for me. Um, listen, when Zeke can't run, the offense can be limited. If you're waiting for Dak to be jaw dropping, he's not. But he keeps in games. Doesn't make dumb throws. He's a great leader. Uh, number two ranked third down offense in defense. So I will say this, even though their offense doesn't blow you away, it's not over the top, when it comes to third down and three, only one team in the NFL gets the first down more than Dallas. And you may think stat. Dak is limited, but it's nice to know that that offensive line, Zeke, Dak, and Amari get first downs. That keeps other star quarterbacks like Carson Wentz off the field. That's why, by the way, oh my God, here we go. Success against Star- Carson Wentz in Philadelphia. They win the time of possession in those battles. Dallas at five. Number four. Philadelphia at four. At oh, four. my God. I always say four. four teams are the teams I think at any given time are the Super Bowl. Oh, teams. boy. Special. Uh, I think they've won with all sorts of secondary injuries. Deshaun Jackson, they didn't have a deep threat. Went on what do you think about that Green one? Bay and one. Um, I mean, they won. I mean, there's no getting around their issue. Their secondary right now is a mess. But I think a lot of that is just... Injuries, I don't think their secondary is going to be wow. at any point this year. But I think it will be capable. Right now it is not. And I also think their their pass rush 
They don't have enough sacks for my taste right now. Fewer sacks in the NFL. I don't think that's a long-term issue. Okay. Do you think they create Haterade. Ask Aaron Rodgers. Number three. Yeah. Uh, okay, so right we now. see where this goes. And, of course, this will be talked about. That's a surprise to me. I'm, th- this is live, going on live now. So we'll have to wait and see when we play. Great quarterbacks like Carson Wentz. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later.